In the annals of history, there are few figures as captivating and influential as Vitruvius, the illustrious Roman architect and engineer, whose pioneering work has left an indelible mark on the world of architecture, engineering, and the broader realms of human civilization. This summary will take you on a journey through the life and legacy of Vitruvius, unveiling the extraordinary personality, events, and initiatives that shaped him and their profound impact on the socio-cultural progress of mankind. Vitruvius, whose full name was Marcus Vitruvius Pollio, was a visionary figure whose legacy transcends the boundaries of time. Born in the early 1st century BC, the exact date and place of his birth remain shrouded in the mist of time. However, what is unequivocal is his pioneering contribution to the field of architecture, engineering, and the meticulous codification of design principles. In the era in which Vitruvius thrived, he was not alone in his quest for knowledge and innovation. The Roman Empire was a melting pot of intellectual luminaries, where ideas flowed freely among scholars, scientists, and artists. Vitruvius himself was not just an architect, he was also an engineer, and his multifaceted approach to design was influenced by his interactions with other eminent thinkers of his time. One of his noteworthy collaborations was with the Roman architect Lucius Cornelius Balbus, who was instrumental in bringing advancements to theater design. Their partnership led to the development of innovative stage machinery, transforming the way drama was presented in ancient Rome. Vitruvius' contributions extended beyond the structural and mechanical aspects of architecture. He delved into the philosophical underpinnings of design and construction, aligning himself with the likes of the great philosopher Cicero. Vitruvius was a man of many talents, and his role as a military engineer is a testament to his diverse skill set. Beyond the realms of architectural and engineering innovation, Vitruvius was a key figure in the defense of the Roman Republic. Serving at some of the Roman Republic's most strategic locations, including Massilia, modern-day Marseille, and Fano, his responsibilities extended far beyond architectural design. As a military engineer, he orchestrated the construction of vital fortifications, siege engines, and the development of military machinery. His expertise in these matters allowed him to play a pivotal role in safeguarding the interests of Rome, showcasing the multifaceted nature of his genius. Vitruvius' most enduring legacy remains his monumental work, De Architectura, also the only surviving comprehensive text on architecture from classical antiquity. This comprehensive treatise on architecture is not merely a technical manual. It's a philosophical exploration of the relationship between human beings and the structures they create. Within its pages, Vitruvius delved into the principles of proportion and harmony, ideas that would later find expression in Leonardo da Vinci's iconic drawing of the Vitruvian Man. This famous depiction showcases the human body inscribed within both a square and a circle, symbolizing the harmony between the human form and geometric perfection. Vitruvius' work laid the foundation for a holistic approach to architecture emphasizing not only the structural aspects but also the profound connection between architecture and the human experience. Within the ten books of De Architectura, Vitruvius ventured into realms of knowledge that today are not commonly included in the education of architects. He expounded upon topics such as hydraulics, astronomy, and even acoustics, recognizing the interplay of these fields with architectural design. His text addressed the design and construction of theaters, drawing connections between architecture and the art of theater, which required an understanding of acoustics to ensure the optimal projection of sound. In discussing the layout of cities and the placement of public buildings, he considered not just the practical aspects but also the cosmic order, reflecting his profound awareness of the interdependence of architecture and the natural world. In addition to De Architectura, Vitruvius is known to have authored other works or texts that have unfortunately been lost to time, leaving us with only tantalizing hints of his broader intellectual contributions. Beyond his architectural pursuits, it is known that he was also well-versed in fields such as philosophy, music, and mathematics, which were considered integral components of an architect's education during his time. While these aspects are not typically associated with modern architecture, they formed the holistic background of a luminary such as Vitruvius. His diverse knowledge base enabled him to approach architectural theory not just as a technical discipline, but as a profound reflection of the human condition, an approach that continues to inspire and influence architects and thinkers to this day, and making him not just an architectural luminary, but a Renaissance figure ahead of his time. Vitruvius' life was marked by his physical and intellectual wanderings. While we lack precise details about his birthplace, 
We do know that he lived during the time of Julius Caesar, whose transformative reign deeply influenced him. Vitruvius' work took him across the vast expanse of the Roman Empire, from Hispania to Africa, and perhaps even further. In the city of Rome, the epicenter of his architectural musings, he witnessed the grandeur of imperial structures like the Colosseum and the meticulous planning of aqueducts, baths, and temples. His travels were not merely about architectural exploration, they were a canvas on which he painted his intellectual and creative discoveries. The true measure of a figure's influence lies in the company they keep. Vitruvius was not a solitary genius, but a man of boundless curiosity who sought wisdom in collaboration with others. His association with the great Roman orator Cicero, who appreciated the philosophical nuances of architecture, was a significant turning point in his life. Cicero recognized the importance of Vitruvius' work, and their correspondence reveals a deep appreciation for the aesthetic and intellectual dimensions of architecture. The exchange of ideas between these two luminaries deepened Vitruvius' commitment to the transcendent principles of architecture. The details of Vitruvius' personal life remain elusive, and our knowledge of his death is equally obscure. The year and day of his passing are shrouded in the shadows of history, leaving us to ponder the circumstances that brought his remarkable journey to a close. What we do know is that his legacy endured, transcending centuries and civilizations. The enduring nature of his work speaks to the universal appeal of architectural principles that reach far beyond the boundaries of time and place. Vitruvius' profound impact on the socio-cultural progress of mankind cannot be overstated. His enduring legacy has left an indelible mark on the world of architecture, engineering, and beyond. He was not merely an architect but a philosopher, a military engineer, and a visionary thinker whose principles have resonated with generations of builders, artists, and intellectuals. Through his work, Vitruvius demonstrated that architecture is more than just a manifestation of physical structures, it is an art, a science, and a philosophy. His teachings have continued to shape the way we perceive and interact with our built environment, emphasizing the importance of aesthetics, functionality, and human well-being. Vitruvius, the enigmatic Roman architect and engineer, is a figure who defies the constraints of time. His pioneering work, multifaceted collaborations, adaptability, and profound philosophical insights continue to captivate the hearts and minds of those who seek to understand the art and science of architecture. His legacy is a testament to the enduring nature of knowledge and the power of ideas to transcend centuries. As we delve into the depths of history, we can draw inspiration from the life and works of Vitruvius, the man who not only built structures, but also laid the foundation for the perpetual growth of human civilization. His journey reminds us that true greatness is not measured in years or dates, but in the enduring impact of one's ideas and contributions to the betterment of humanity. Vitruvius' life and work stand as an enduring testament to the power of innovation, collaboration, and the boundless possibilities of the human spirit.